Welcome back to Acorn Ridge. Today we're back here at the well. It's been quite a while since we've done any well videos just because we've been real busy with other projects. But it's caved in a lot. As you can see, there's a lot of dirt that's came in from the side. So we're going to have to sure. do quite a bit of digging just to get back to where we was. And then we're going to be putting a shelf in in the next video. We're not going to let it set too long or we don't lose no progress on the next part. Right. But we're just going to get right to digging. All right, the first couple shovels. Brings back memories. Oh, yeah. This what got us started right here, guys. The well. So we want to do it justice. We want to get it down. Get we're going to actually up. get this sucker down good. Like, we're going to get it back to where we was close, probably around like six foot. Right. And then shelf it. And then we're probably going to go down like another 10 foot and shelf it again. Yeah. And then just go down as deep as we need to to get a good water source up on this property. Right. There must be some kind of water source somewhere, dude. Cause... Right. There has to be. There's always water in this thing. And we also just pumped it out and it's already filling up. And the thing is, our spring fed pond is right over there. And yeah. this is always about the same level as the spring fed pond. Right. They so... never go completely empty. Like, right. this is the middle of summer and it still has a little bit of and water. And we've already pumped this out and it's still pumping water into it. So, right. There has to be a water source. Yep. Crazy how long we've actually been at this well dude it's been like two years over two years right i mean we haven't done nothing to it in like a good year so right yeah it's been setting for at least a year so that's why it looks so you know filled in right because uh, every rain just washes more dirt into it right you can see the sides are all caved in i wish we would have took the time to do a shelf whenever we had it that deep oh yeah me too but hey we're gonna get it this time for sure we actually got to looking at it and it's not going to be too much digging no because this side over here is way more than six foot it caved in quite a bit yeah it went because we're only going for like a six foot around and that's way more than six foot over there it caved in that whole entire side right even the ground level soil caved so in. With so with that being said we're just going to try to get it all about level yeah like it's about probably five and a half feet yeah right now. a little over five and a half feet so yeah. if we get it all level down to that point then we can probably set a couple rocks today. yeah we're going to try to set a couple rocks Get some mortar mixed up instead of set the base layer and then right. the next video we'll video shelving the whole thing right our handle broke on our good shovel <laughs> yeah that's well, why we're having to use this one without the holes in it we bought that good one with the holes in it that does real good with this clay yeah it's a lot better than this one this one you have to bang it off on a rock every now and then yeah yep all right guys we just pulled that ladder out for the first time in over a year <laughs> Do we take a look at that? Good thing it's aluminum. Whew, that was a chore, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Get out your way. Yeah, we're getting it, guys. Almost got it to where we need to be able to put the first little shelf. So, I'll keep you all updated. Man, what did you just pull out of there? Look at that big old bullfrog, y'all. Chewy. That thing is huge. huge. All right, guys, we're going to return this bullfrog to our pond over there. We don't want him to die. I don't know how he could even got out. I don't know, though. Those things might be able to jump He's acting down. a little bit sickly. Yeah. All right. Well, there he goes. All right, hand him up to me, and I'll put him in the pond. All right, guys, check out the size of that thing. Ooh yeah. He is acting a little weird, so I'm going to bring him over here to the pond. Give him a new home. All right, guys, I got him over here by the pond. I'm trying to get him to react before I just get him down here. I'm going to set him right here. Yeah. Nate, what do you just see down in there? I see some clear water coming in from this corner right here. It's like crystal clear. Yeah. And this is all like what we've been messing with. It's like really, really clay, muddy. Yeah. And that's like crystal clear coming in from that side. So that's a sure sign of a spring right there. Some kind of spring or underground water Stream source yeah coming up from the ground right there yeah that's awesome so we almost got it dug out we got a little bit more digging to do trying to get the water out of here right now but it's yeah. like it's not much water it's more clay than water yeah that's why it's tough on this thing you gotta keep cleaning it off and then hope when it pumps out so we'll get her done another one that's two so far you get some good eating off that boy <laughs> take a look at there But he's living life. We got this dug down pretty much level. We're going to go ahead and set some rocks and try to get our circle and try to get them even. Right. And then we'll dig out what we have to. Yeah. All right, guys, we got the base layer laid down there. 
as it's you can see. Perfect, yeah, it's, it's not perfect, but it's close enough. So we're gonna go back to the building, get our mortar mixed up, and start laying the second layer. All right, guys, we got the mortar mix here. It's just top end masonry mortar mix. Yes, sir. And we're just gonna start with like a quarter bag, just to see how far that goes, because I don't really know. Yeah. But we're gonna start with like a quarter bag, mix it with some water, and then bring it down there and start doing our first layer of rocks. Put a little bit of water in there and mix that sucker up. Yes, sir. We actually decided to go with the whole bag because the quarter looks, bag just didn't look like enough. Yeah, so, so we're just going to go ahead and put the whole bag in there and uh, get that mixed up and start laying some rocks. Shoot, take a look at that. That's what you want right there? Yes, sir. Now we got to push this over to the well. Yes, sir. And that ain't really an easy task up in these woods. Got rocks and roots everywhere, so try not to dump her. You tired yet? Nope, not yet. Here we are. Made it all in one piece. Yep. Now we just gotta get back down in there and start with our first layer of rock. Pulls to the trade right here. Yes, sir. It's not what it's made for, but hey, when you're it out works, here, it works. When you're down the bottom of the well, you make things work. All right. Get her done. I was getting our first rock laid here, just like that is how it's gonna sit. So, it's gonna keep repeating the process. Yes, sir. Shoo wee. There she goes. Rock in the shelf. Oh, yeah. I think with that first layer right there, it evens out with the other side behind you. Right. That side was a little bit higher, but yeah, it don't really matter anyways. It's all just gonna be we'll one just, big It's shelf. just rock. We'll just get it level once we get to the top. So right. That's all that really matters. Also, each rock is different, so. Right. So you're just basically trying to fill the gaps with the mortar as well to keep it sealed off, right? Right. Once got all of our base rocks set, we just got a little bit to go here, but we're about to go get us a bite to eat and then we'll get back at it. Here's how you do it, man. Yes, sir. You got to work smarter, not harder. Exactly. A lot easier than pushing that wheelbarrow all the way around there. Yes, sir. As we mix up some more mortar, we're just gonna get back down there, keep on working. It's gonna be awesome having this thing rocked. Yes, sir. Getting there. Having fun yet? Yep, always. Got almost two rocks up all the way around now. Yeah, over here it's three. So we got three here, and we're this side's just a little lower. We haven't got over here yet. But right. Got to get a few more over here. Three over here. Two there, so it's looking real there. good though. Oh yeah. Shoey guys, look at that. Yes, sir. At least it feels good out here today. Oh yeah. This is not a hundred degrees. Cause we got it all about three foot right there, as you can see. Right, and it's real strong. We got everything nice and flat, and we got it packed in. Yes, and sir. we're just gonna have to let this dry for a little bit, and then we'll go on with our next steps. Right. We don't want to have it too much weight on it. Right. Because right, it'll just squish that mortar out of the rocks. Right. So we need to let this set up for just a little bit and then we'll start up going on with the shelf. Right here now guys, this base layer dried pretty good. So now we're just gonna keep on going with the shelf. Okay. All right, guys, we actually just ran out of mortar, but take a look at that, man. That thing looks Shoo sweet. Shoo-wee, buddy. Yes, sir. But um, actually, the next thing we're going to be doing is backfilling this here. Basically, just putting dirt behind the rock right. so it holds it sturdy. Just it to keep it sturdy, right? Right, yeah. And then we're going to rock it the rest, the rest of the way up, you know? But we but, did end up getting four foot. It's close to four foot on that side right there, and it's about three and a half everywhere else. Yes, sir. And in case you didn't know, this is called shelving a well. Basically, what it is is... You put your first set of uh, rock wall there, 
and then you go in a few inches on the inside of that and then you go down you know you can go up to 10 feet you know right. before you do another shelf and then you rock it again all the way up past this rock right and then you connect it. your rock in yes, together sir. but basically what we're going to try to do is get this well close to 20 foot you know just as deep as we can but our goal is 20 feet you know right but it's got water in it right now and it's dead summer yeah so yep. i mean you're looking at probably like 15 foot of storage right at, if at you 20 do feet right if you yep. do 20 feet and it's spring fed so i think it's going to do pretty good we'll get we'll have to do like a gallons per hour thing yes sir once we get it going gallons per but, minute. Yeah. yeah gallons per minute yeah but that's all the time we have for today guys if you guys like this type of content make sure to leave a comment down below and don't forget to check out our tiktok at acorn ridge don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next one